America's adversaries are increasingly using chemical and biological weapons. We've seen these weapons used in Syria and Iraq. We've uncovered plots to use them in England and Belgium. This isn't a distant threat. It's a growing threat we face every day. Whether it's a special forces unit taking down a terrorist stronghold or a team of military doctors working to stop a pandemic, our troops must be protected. Together, the Defense Threat Reduction Agency and the Joint Program Executive Office for Chemical and Biological Defense protect our troops through innovation. DITRA researches and develops innovative technologies, then transitions them to JPEO. JPEO tests, evaluates, and puts new tools into the warfighter's hands. Through our combined efforts, DITRA and JPEO manage our nation's investments in chemical and biological defense, ensuring warfighters have the tools to protect U.S. interests at home and abroad. Current chem bio suits are heavy, hot, and cumbersome. Our troops need a better solution. Developed by DITRA and JPEO, CB Light is lightweight, easy to move in, and doesn't cause overheating, but it protects against chem bio threats. These uniforms give our warfighters both the protection and flexibility they need to carry out their vital missions. Whether it is a new fabric or app, we live in a time of unprecedented technological change. We have created more data, more knowledge in the last two years than in the entire history of mankind. Not only have we cracked the genetic code, but we've developed new technologies that make genetic engineering faster, cheaper, and easier. Today's advances make it possible to do enormous good for humanity, but they also create new risks. Every great advance, from the wheel to the computer, has been weaponized. The tools we create today enable a resilient force against the threats of tomorrow. Imagine the risk of a flu genetically engineered to kill, the black plague of our time. Whether it evolves from nature or is engineered by our adversaries, we must be able to rapidly identify the threat, develop a countermeasure, and treat those at risk. This is no small task. Typical drug development programs can take decades and require billions of dollars. But our job at DITRA and JPEO is to be prepared be prepared for the unthinkable, the surprises of tomorrow. And we are, with our advanced development and manufacturing facility. ADM shortens development of medical countermeasures. The facility uses Adamant, a monoclonal antibody platform capable of rapidly producing vaccines and therapeutics to counter threats. Every time we find a way to cure or treat victims of a chem bio threat, we take one more weapon away from our enemies. Nerve agents are a serious concern and are being used by our adversaries. To counter this threat, we are working on bioscavenger technologies. Bioscavengers are naturally occurring proteins that eliminate nerve agents from our bodies. We all have these proteins, but only in very small quantities, which aren't enough to protect us. Together, DITRA and JPEO are developing these compounds to render nerve agents harmless. Another way to speed response is to stop outbreaks before they reach our shores, or worse, evolve. For this, we developed the Joint Mobile Engineering Disease Intervention Clinical Capacity, located in Uganda. JMedic is a regional laboratory and isolation center, training to detect, diagnose, manage, and treat victims of emerging diseases. Deployed to where devastating outbreaks begin, we can speed response. Countering outbreaks at their source is not just the right thing to do, it is the smart thing to do. Stopping diseases abroad protects Americans at home. Faced with new weapons in the hands of new enemies, 
it is now more vital than ever for DITRA and JPEO to field technologies to counter chemical and biological threats. The technologies we develop form a system of layered defense to protect the warfighter and nation against chem-bio threats to make our world safer.